Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. Super Bowl Sunday is just over a week away and I cannot think of better Super Bowl munchies than sweet and spicy buffalo wings. They are super easy to prep, so just hit that like button, subscribe, then join me in the kitchen and I'll show you how to prep these wings. Today, I'm going to be cooking up one and a half pounds of pre-cut chicken wings. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab some paper towels and pat the wings as dry as possible. This will give them the best chance of crisping up on the grill. But you know what also help? Some olive oil. So once your wings have been patted dry, drizzle some olive oil onto the wings, then prepare to season with salt and pepper. And today, I am being fancy and using Himalayan pink salt. I read that Tom Brady only uses pink salt in his food, which is what gives him his greatness. So for Super Bowl buffalo wings, pink salt it is. Next up, some ground pepper. Grind the pepper to taste. And of course, once you're satisfied with the seasonings that you've used, use your clean hands and thoroughly mix. Now today I am going to be grilling this with the indirect method. So here I have grabbed a roasting rack and I'm going to place my chicken wings directly onto this roasting rack. The reason I am cooking these indirect today is because it's a bit cold and windy outside and the direct method requires a lot of opening and closing of the grill. Not exactly ideal in blustery winter conditions. That said, if you want to check out my original Buffalo Wings video, click the link above. Just be warned, it's a little bit cringy to watch now. It was my first ever YouTube video, and I was not nearly as polished as I am today. Anyways, continue laying out your wings on your roasting rack until the rack is full. On a 12 inch rack like this, you can usually get about 15, 16, maybe 17 wings if you're very efficient about how you lay them out. Anyways, let's head on out to the grill. So here on my front deck today, I have been preheating my Weber Q for about 20 minutes on a high heat. As you can see, I've also added a smoke pouch filled with pecan wood chips. And as you can see, this grill is a little bit grimy from a previous cook but I'm not too worried about that because I am using indirect grilling today. So using some foil as a heat shield, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my rack of wings onto the grill. We roast this on high for about 45 minutes. But about halfway through the cook, about 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna give all the wings a turn. This will ensure they cook evenly. And as you can see, they're crackling pretty good, even after just 20 minutes of cooking. Shut the lid, and as you finish the second half of the roast, let's prepare the buffalo sauce. To prepare my sauce, I am first going to melt two tablespoons of butter on a low heat in a skillet. Once that has melted a little bit, give it a stir, then add your hot sauce. Today, I'll be using Frank's Red Hot Original Sauce. Pour about a quarter cup into the skillet. I did say these were going to be sweet and spicy, so next up, let's add some honey. I'm going to squeeze about two tablespoons into the skillet. That's about one, and that should be about two. Perfect. Now grab a whisk and whisk it all together until it's smooth and even. By this time, we should be nearing the 45 minute mark, so let's go check on our wings and pull them all off the grill. And these wings are looking pretty good, so I'm going to go pull them off of the rack and plop them directly into my skillet with my buffalo sauce. And once all your wings are in the skillet, give them a toss and a stir until they are thoroughly coated in that buffalo sauce. And now, here are your perfect Super Bowl munchies plated up. Fresh snowfall is an optional topic. There you go, guys. That is my super easy recipe for sweet and spicy buffalo wings. 
They are the perfect munchies for your Super Bowl Sunday. Let me know who your pick is for the big game. If you think Tom Brady and the Buccaneers are going to win, hit the like button. But if you think the defending champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, are going to win, leave me a comment below. Or if you're just looking for great recipes for your Weber Q, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified as to when new content drops. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again next week. Bye now.